Here we are in central Hawke's Bay on the 3rd of March 1997. We're on the property of John Hudson, who's an early exponent of the Techno system. Morning, John. Morning, Harry. I wonder if you could begin by just uh, giving us a bit of a briefing on the on Guavis, the uh, the area and the policies, etc. Yeah, the farm's uh, just over 3,000 acres, effective area about 2,8, uh, 2,800 acres or uh, 11, 1,200 hectares. Um, our rainfall is in the bracket of 1,000 to 1,100 mils, and uh, being on the east coast, it can be pretty erratic. Uh, east coast of the North Island, that is. Um, farming policy initially, uh, well, I say initially four or five, six years ago, was about 30% sheep, 70% cattle. Now we're probably 60% cattle and 40% and sheep, um, which does seem a little strange um, if we if we think of the area as being uh, drought prone or, or summer dry, but um, uh, partly the adoption of the techno system and the ensuing uh, uh, technology has allowed us uh, a fairly flexible uh, stock buy and sell system. Um, the techno system or, or, the, or the, the, uh, the method of uh, the reason we discovered it so to speak was we were looking for a, a portable um, effective uh, portable uh, fence system for shifting hoggets and other classes of stock just in our normal farm uh, routines I'd tried other systems and couldn't find anything which uh, was was cost efficient as far as time was concerned and then um, ended up uh, uh, meeting one of our Kiwi Tech's agents and seeing their portable uh, cattle systems and we went on to sheep and we used them for a couple of years before we actually uh, adopted the techno system technology. So when was that when you first got into it? We, we've had, we've been through four cycles, four, four years of producing bulls uh, or cattle under the, under the pure techno system. And at, when you first adopted it you were the monitoring farm for the bay, is that right? We were, yep. And uh, the whole techno system concept was something that um, I'd seen and taken on. I hadn't, it hadn't come through the MRDC or through the, uh, the, the, the community group at the time. And um, I set it up here uh, and put the whole thing in place before and had it up and running before actually showing it to the group. And uh, it, was, oh, it was June or July, they were in their winter rotation and stocked at 4.6, 4.7 a hectare, and um, and uh, first first impressions of the system uh, are always quite interesting. And um, obviously myself, I'd never been through the system. I'd just gone and what uh, I'd seen at Harry's and show him, and he told me the formula and how many to put in there and how much grass we had, and it was all going to work. And bringing some of these guys down here, they threw their hands up in the air and said, "D stock, it's going to blow apart," and so on. Um, I managed to resist all that and. Uh, we went through a whole production system, uh, which for us runs from May or June through to about Christmas time, depending on how good the, the spring summer is. And um, everything worked. Uh, we didn't have a, a brilliant spring, but we produced somewhere in the region of 550 kilos um, of carcass weight net per hectare, um, which uh, grossed us somewhere in the region of 15, 16, 17 hundred dollars a hectare. And previous to this. Previously to that, this country would have been operating in a band of five to six hundred dollars a hectare. So uh, we had pretty instant results. I understand when you uh, first made, well, outlined the proposition to them, someone put the whole thing through stockpile, and it uh, more or less said it does not compute. <laughs> yeah, quite correct. Uh, yet yeah, um, stockpile, as you know, takes well some ideas you can fiddle around and adjust things, but. Uh, Certainly this was, uh, had, it had infeasible written across the bottom. Um, we didn't change anything, we just changed stockpile and now stockpile agrees with us that uh, things can work. So in the course of those four years you've found not only bulls, you've, you've actually had at odd times of the year you've either not been able to get bulls or it hasn't been convenient so... Yeah we have uh, behind us at the moment we've got um, 16 month steers. Um, once again, the season for us has been uh, um, back to front, so to speak. We didn't have much of a spring. We've had a great uh, summer autumn period, so we have to put something in here to um, doctor it up for the uh, for the winter regime. 
and um, we just happen to have steers on board. Um, in another block at the moment we've got cows and calves um, knocking it back into shape again. And in another block over here we do actually have bulls, but um, we've farmed everything. Heifers, bulls, steers, cows and calves in them, and uh, uh, the bull for us is the most efficient, but the other classes of uh, stock fit in and adapt to the system pretty well. And um, obviously the efficiency of the system, any stock you have, you're going to do better per hectare.